Hello, welcome to my unboxing and setup guide for the Geotech AX1R gaming headset for PlayStation 4. Okay, and as you can see on the box, it's got uh, two pictures of the headset, one of it in large, and then one slightly smaller one down in the corner here. To see it from a different angle with the Geotech logo. Again, six symbols here with information regarding the headset, such as the enclosed ear cups. Again, on the top again, we have uh, some icons again. I think it's the same information that was on the side of the box. On the back, we have a more detailed description of the headset. All the information there, pointing to each individual thing that they want to highlight. And we've got... Let's go there and focus superior fit and finish, enclosed ear cups, inline controls, adjustable headband, flexible mic arm and 180 degree rotating microphone. Down the bottom here we have their Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and web address. Okay so now for the unboxing. As on most things, pull tab and inside we have a blue box containing two instruction sheets and the warranty and then the headset and as it's a wired one it's just one wire and on the headset itself we've got a nice blue band at the top and then on the top of this we have the Geotech Insignia logo. It's quite a nice detail. Nice leather straps. Some little blue details around the headset itself. And inside the headset, again, a nice blue phone. It's quite nice. And then the control settings are just a little box with a spin wheel and pull and push apart for the mute ok and the mic there is adjustable it's quite a nice looks quite flexible quite lightweight um, and I'll just do a quick setup video to follow on ok and this is the setup section of the Geotech AX1R gaming headset ok so we have the headset here with the cable and then you get your headphone attachment which plugs into your PlayStation 4 controller nice and simple and then you go up on your PlayStation go across to the settings down to sound and screen to audio output settings and output to headphones to all audio and you can see now the audio has gone off and then if you go back onto the output settings you can change it to chat only and that is as simple as that the headset is now working ready to use for when you next start gaming 